hello we're getting to the end or close to the end of the music theory series um i know it's not that much but you guys have had pretty much all of my knowledge now um so and at least where i feel confident to teach it um i've got a two or three more videos on music theory in me at least and then 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 that will bring it to a close which is quite good given the series was i thought i'd probably do about five in total so we're getting very close so this one complements the last video, which was about chord progressions and ways to kind of trust your ears when you're building them rather than getting too caught up in, in lots of rules. And this is for those people who um, want some more extra stimulus to help with that process. We're going to use this site called Auto Chords, made by this guy Alex Robinson. What he's done is, he's the, the, there are chord charts out there, and I think what he's done anyway, is um, take a chord chart and people have spent time going through different progressions and so yeah almost like worked out how does this make me feel does it make me feel happy sad um kind of uh, thinking back so it's full of memories and um he basically put that put, put the progression into his website so what we're going to do is um I, I've, I've checked through a few of these alternative seems to work quite nicely cliche one and two especially for sort of the house and progressive they, they seem all right um, and then I'd, I'd kind of encourage you maybe to check. I think creepy stuff you <laughs> probably doesn't sound like it will work that well. Um, energetic, energetic might do. Possibly me melodies and sad ballad maybe. Simple. If you're doing very simple house music, then you w won't even need it, need it. But it's a two chord progression, so that's um, you know it, it might give you some stimulus at least. But in terms of where I'd start, I'd probably start out with either alternative cliche or cliche two. And I've put it into the A natural minor. And we know from this site that we use a lot in this series that um, the A natural A natural minor or the A Aeolian is all the white notes between A and A. That's 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 all it is. And if we go back to our chord progression generator, um, and it's lost what we had, but basically cliche two, A natural minor. What's really nice is it gives you all the chords um, before giving you the progression. So all chords in the key, um, A minor. And then if you hover over, which makes it even better, they give you the, the notes of that chord in its kind of a root position. So A minor, A, C, E. We'll skip the diminished because we know it's a bit of a kind of um, dramatic sound that doesn't work as well. Um, C major, C, E, G, D minor, D, F, A, E minor, um, E, G, B, F major, and then G major, G, B, D. Okay, so th th these are all the chords you could use. Then it gives you a main progression. So, so th this is kind of a recommended set of notes uh, or uh, chords um, to, to play one after the other, A to the F to the C to the G. And then it gives you some alternative progressions. So like here in this cliche two, we've got C, A minor, E minor. I might skip the diminished because it's, um, you know, that, that kind of dramatic heroin tried, uh, tied to the tracks kind of sound that, that's not great. Um, and then we've got uh, two alternate progressions as well. Now, one thing to be aware of, at least, when you go into the alternate progressions is that some of them don't always comply to the scale. This is starting on the D minor, and it's got an A sharp, or I might have said that was a B flat. It's the same thing, effectively, but it's got an A sharp major there. And if you look at all chords in the key, A sharp does not appear in the available chords. Well, it is, is it effectively what we're in there is the D minor scale. Um, so it's not a problem. That will still sound good. It's just that you need to be aware. So when you start building your bass line and your, your melody, you don't get confused about the right notes to use. Um, and then, is there anything else here? Yeah, this one as well is uh, in the starting on the E minor, and it's in the E minor scale as well. Because you can see there you've got a D major chord, D, F sharp, A. And, of course, if we were going to comply to the A minor scale, our D chord would rather be the D minor. So just be aware that um, not all of these alternate progressions are in the, the key. And it doesn't matter, they'll, they'll still sound good. It's just that um, you you know you need to be careful when you write your bass and melody. Right, so what I'll do, so, so re really what, what I'd suggest, the, the approach you take, and, and I'll do an example on the video, is play the progression as he's got it written here. So A minor, you just play the A, C, E, 
and then the F major, F A C, and then the C major, C G. So play it in its root position, just as it is, with the same bass note in in. So when I play the A minor, I'm going to play the A in the bass, right? So that's what you start off doing, but then start applying the techniques from the last video, which is we know we can change the bass if it doesn't sound quite right. We know we can change the inversion and we know we can like add and drop notes and, and just keep kind of tweaking that and iterating until you get the, the a sound that you do like, a progression that you do like the sound of, okay? So pop across to Logic and um, let me find... Okay, so quite like that sound. Um, I'll mute the microphone so you don't have to hear the, the keyboard bashing. Um, but what I'll do is I'll choose... We'll do the main progression um, and I'll play it in its kind of bass inversion, like with, with no inversion going on, just the A minor, A C, exactly. And then, and and then I'll kind of try, and it'll be a bit rough because I'm just doing it live. But um, I'll try and then show you what 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 you might then be able to do with it, and then maybe we'll do it with this one as well. So I'll mute my microphone now, um, and I'll I'll go through it, and then we'll go back and just have a quick explanation of what we ended up playing. Okay, so hopefully you get kind of the idea what I'm trying to achieve here. So we start off by playing the available progression and then, then you apply the rules from the last video. So change up your bass, invert it, drop some notes, uh, maybe only play it in fifths, drop, uh, you know, add some notes, add six and sevenths, do, do, do all the things that we've covered in the music theory series. And that will then, uh, uh, you know, you, you can still work with the last video on its own um, and, and it works perfectly well, you know, and I've been kind of enjoying using that as a technique. Um, but then this, if you're kind of still, you know, kind of new to the music theory and, and still, you know, maybe not had too many lessons, what have you, um, th this is just an extra stimulus. I'd probably say, you know, check out at least the cliche ones, the alternative, um, and then check out some of more, more of these as well and, and see what you can come up with. So hopefully that one's useful. I'm going to stick the, the stick the the links at the bottom of the video so you can uh, check out this and also um, we've used this a lot before. But just in case you're new to the videos, so I'll put the link to this one as well. All right, a um, couple more coming up. Uh, I think I need to do one interchange and maybe arpeggios as well, and then we'll probably come into a close. All right, cheers. Bye bye.